Shouldn't this create a symbiosis though? How do I do this? Select the rock giant and cast the precious mineral spell ability to create a mineral next to the stouts. That's what I did though. There's a mineral and there's the stouts, right? Oh no, why are there poison dart frogs? Oh, okay. Jeez, so you can't create stouts in like a swamp region, I think. But I guarantee there was a, maybe that was an otter. <laughs> I don't know. I think that maybe one of these otters wandered over here and then I thought that that was a stout and I thought I did it right. Huh, okay. Interesting. We'll do it right there. Oh. Okay, yeah, yeah, good, good, good. Yeah, there's the stouts and there's the minerals. Okay, good. Stouts and egg it work well together. Thanks to symbiosis. I don't know how that works, but uh, alright. I guess they're harvesting both at the same time, maybe. I'm not sure. Do you remember blueberries working well with chickens? No, I don't. Use the fruit plant ability of the forest giant to create some blueberries in the forest. Okay, forest giant, three. And we're going to create some fruits right there. Do it to it. Do it. Come on. Did I create it within like city limits too much? Possibly. There's a lot to learn in this game. <laughs> I'm trying to do it really quickly while I'm recording. Okay, I think I'll try this again over here. This should work, right? Yeah, th th some blueberries. Okay, there's blueberries here. Okay, now I think we gotta make some chickens nearby. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, what is this? The Shrine Challenge. So we gotta make this village use at least 15 wealth. Yes, it's doing that. And we gotta create some food for this village. Definitely. Alright. Sounds good. Um, we are going to... Forest. Upgrades a plant with lead. Okay, yeah. Let's do that. Strawberries now. Alright, I think that upgrades the food a little bit, maybe, up to three. Okay, and we are going to make some more forest plants. Uh-oh. This village does not have very much room, that's what I'm thinking here. Maybe we can create a little more room. Okay. Hopefully that won't destroy the shrine. <laughs> okay. Do your work. Oh. <laughs> it changed it into a desert region. That's kind of cool, actually. All right. But I'm going to create some, uh, some uh, water right here. Yeah, yeah, water, water, water. We need it. Water is the spice of life. Let's do it. And so we got more room at least. So we're going to create a fruit plant right here. I don't know what fruit grows in the desert. We're going to see. <laughs> a withered shrub. No, that's not good. Oh, but a barrel cactus, I think. Huh. He just ruined my withered shrub, guy. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna wait and we're gonna plant some more fruits right here. I'm waiting for the cooldown, 30 seconds. And let's do it. Blueberries, here we come. There we go. And we're gonna transmutate them. Okay, good, good, good. Um, how do we create, keep forgetting, um, mukbang, 
Huh, that's cool. It's like a damage thing. Alright, what does this guy do? I need to get some... Oh, domesticated animals. Here we go, here we go. I don't know why the this crab... Crab ocean creature creates domesticated animals. That doesn't really make sense to me, actually. These villages are kind of like... Uh, creeping up on each other, actually. There might be a war. That'd be kind of cool, right? Okay, yeah. There's the range of the village up to here. Alright, we're going to give them some domesticated animals right here. I think it's, they're going to be chickens. Now, I think the key to this game, like I said before, is to create um, optimal symbiosis, if that's a word. So you'd have to keep that in mind when placing things down. Now see if you can complete them. Okay, yeah, we're working on this shrine. And we need 15 food in 16 minutes. Okay. So that's giving five, right? These chickens aren't giving very much. So let's do R. And we're going to upgrade those chickens into what? What are these chickens upgrade to? Rabbits. And does that, okay, yeah, that upgrades the food to two instead of one. Nice, nice. Desert tortoise, that's fun. <laughs> oh man, that's awesome. Okay, I want to get some warfare going. You know, I want to upgrade all their militaries and have them fight. Oh yeah, that's what I'm all about. Here's the. All these people are necklace though. They just have like a floating head, which is kind of weird. Anyways, let's create more domesticated animals if we can. Let's see what the range of the village is. Okay, it's kind of creeping up. Um. Yeah, let's get rid of the desert tortoises and place some more chickens. And we're going to transmutate them. This is interesting. It has like... This power is like a heal power. Movement speed, duration. This is a lot like Dota, actually. So is there like combat in this game? Like, do the giants fight? Or... Huh. Interesting, interesting. Was that at 5 and it went down to 3? Hmm. Maybe that's because... I'm not sure. I'm not... Alright, these are goats. I guess goats are in desert regions. It's interesting that there's like lush forest, lush forest, and then there's a tiny little piece of desert. <laughs> okay, so... Let's see. What do we need again? We need... Oh, we got rid of some of our wealth, though. Damn it. Okay. We can we can uh, get some more. Precious minerals right here. This will be it. Let's watch. Nice, nice. Come on. Oh, do I need symbiosis? Maybe? I'm not even sure. Ah. So we're kind of greedy. There's like different... Let's see what this... Oh, weird. Okay. So this village, Shinenborough, is not greedy at all. But this village is very greedy. For some reason. But they created their shrine, so that's good. They're extremely prosperous. Cool, cool. Now, I know I'm playing this game horribly wrong right now, but just, just stop it. Stop typing right now. Stop it. Stop typing bad things. All right. Oh, as a result of their huge growth, your village has become extremely greedy. Be sure to tap space so you can pause and see what is happening. Yeah. Oh, sh got it. Oh, no. They're attacking. Hold on, hold on. I want to pause this. All right, so... This village, Bannerport, is attacking uh, Shining Burrow. Oh man, alright. I, I like Shining Burrow more. Okay, let's see. Let's see what happens. Witness how the village falls into complete chaos. Oh no! 
They have a huge army going. Oh no. Okay. Where's our defenses? Where's Shining Burrow's defenses? Is beyond saving. Destroy them. The new villages. Use the rock giants. Okay, okay. Let's do it. Quick, quick, quick. Muck bomb. F. F you guys. Oh yeah, look at that. You greedy bastards. Let's do an earthquake on you guys too. Blah, 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 blah. That's right. You have angered the gods today. Yes, yes. I can't even remember their name. Brannon Port Bed I don't even know. They're, they just went down in history as just a complete idiotic, greedy society that the gods had to purge right away. Okay. So that was, that was pretty interesting actually. That got me like more into the game, definitely, than like the first two tutorials. That that third tutorial was actually like game like, you know. It seemed like I was playing a game more. So that's cool, that's cool. Alright, uh, third era has been complete. I'm just going to see how much... Okay, so I think the next kind of mode is era mode, and you do different amounts of minutes. Cool, cool. Well, guys, thanks for watching. That was a first little preview, my first impressions of the game Roos.